Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Paradox bringing you another Black Ops 4 video to the channel here. Now today guys, I'm going to be showing you the best 10 class setups after update 1.07. Now as you can see guys, we just downloaded the brand new update 1.07 as you can see right here. We just downloaded it. And now I'm going to be showing you guys the best class setups after the buffs, the nerfs, and everything. And before we get into the video, the patch notes are going to be in the description, so make sure to check them out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get straight into these class setups. Alright, so my first class setup is the Maddox. Now what I like to run on it is ELO, Quick Draw, Stock, Fast Mag. Now the Maddox is really good. I like it. It's one of my favorite assault rifles. Next is my uh, Cosmic Device, then I run Scavenger, Lightweight, and Ghost. Now this is a Spawn Trap, you know, Try Hard class I like to run. Now a thing is, uh, the new thing I'm running is the Cosmic Device. Now, as you can tell, um, <clears throat> they did increase some of the uh, scores. Now you get the Thresher before the Attack Chopper now. They moved the um, attack chopper score up to 1300. Now this is kind of weird, so I don't know why they would do that. They really, they've never really changed the scores of uh, you know score streaks before. They've only done nerfs and buffs to them. This is new, but um, as you can tell with the cosmic device, you only need 10 kills instead of 13, which is you know tough to get sometimes. So that's why I run the Cosmic Device. And uh, the next class is going to be the Cordite. Now the Cordite is a over, like I mean, probably one of the best SMGs in the game right now. Until they probably add some DLC weapons. Now what I like to run on it is Long Barrel Grip and I run the Bullet Feed. Now this is a spawn trapping class like on Nuketown or something like that. I just, crazy feeds man, crazy, crazy, crazy feeds. And I run the Cosmic Device as well. And I run Tac Mask, Gunko, and Ghost. Now, why I run Tac Mask is something you guys need to run as well. The Tac Mask is really going to help you with concussions, and they buff the Tac Mask, so it's actually good. If you get hit by a nine bang, instead of flashing nine times, it only flashes once, so that's just pretty nice. Next is the ABR. Now, the ABR did get a uh, a kill, a damage boost, like a damage boost, and uh, it's I'm not sure how many bullets is at range now. But uh, the ABR is really good. I like to run as ELO, Quick Draw, Stock, and the Accelerator mod with the Cosmic Device, Scavenger, and Lightweight. Next is the Hades. The Hades is a uh, pretty good class. This is a class like I like to use when I'm playing like hardcore or if I'm you know just running around, just not really caring what I'm doing. If I just want to throw this out, I run as Hybrid Mags, Rapid Fire and the operator mod which is the um, crossbar makes it really overpowered or on the cosmic device with scavenger now this should be gun coast so you can pretty much run and gun and then I run ghost next is the ICR now uh, I don't really use the ICR that much but I like to run out as red dot grip 1 and 2 quick draw cosmic device scavenger lightweight and ghost Next is my SOG. This is a tryhard class setup from playing hardpoint, dom, or something like that. I like to run is a double stock, grip, and quick draw, cosmic device, scavenger, and lightweight. This is the swordfish. Now the swordfish did get a buff, which is really, really, really overpowered, guys. I highly recommend you using the swordfish now. And uh, what it has on it is red dot, quick draw, hybrid mags. You don't really need anything else with the swordfish. And what I run else is cosmic device, scavenger, lightweight, dexterity, and ghost. The I think as of right now the swordfish might be the best weapon in the game after the update. So, like I said, you know, make sure to use it. Next is my Titan class setup. Now the Titan's a really good LMG, of course you guys know that, that's like the new meta, that's what everybody's running around with. Now what I run on it is Red Dot, Quick Draw, Stock, Extended Mag, Cosmic Device, Scavenger, Lightweight, and Ghost. Next is my Vapor class setup, now I don't really use this a lot, but you know if I, sometimes if I throw on, maybe play some Hardcore or something like that, I'll use the Vapor. 
Now what I like to run on it is ELO double stock rapid fire. Now why I run the double stock on the vapor because it gives it less recoil in my opinion. It could be a placebo. I'm not really sure. But I think it gives you less recoil. I run the cosmic device. Scavenger, lightweight, and ghost which is really nice. And uh, I just, the Vapor is a really good assault rifle sometimes and hardcore it's really well. Now for the last class guys we have the GKS. And this, I don't know what happened to, they took off all my Mastercraft camos. But uh, what I like to run on the GKS Damascus is the Unicorn of course. I like to run his red dot, double grip, quick draw with stem shot. Now this is the only class I use stem shot with. I use scavenger, lightweight, and ghost. And that's really all my classes and uh, you know throughout the uh, week I am going to be posting you know up like classes like the updated weapons of course I'm going to be showing you guys the overpowered weapons after the update 1.07 I got you guys that with that so if I could get tell you some weapons to use out of these classes I would say use the swordfish the sog the ABR and the cordite so that's going to really wrap it up for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. If you are brand new to the channel, do make sure to drop a like, guys. Subscribe. Turn on post notifications. It's been your boy Paradox. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.